Hey, um, I wanted to talk to you today about um, a man in the Bible. Last week we finished talking about Jonah and what happened when he finally, oh my goodness, finally decided to obey God and go to Nineveh. So tonight, today we're going to start talking about another man in the Bible who had to obey God. And it took a lot of faith on his part. And he, I'm sure, took a lot of grief from his neighbors for obeying God. So um, this man lived in a time that was really quite evil. There was a lot of bad stuff happening and a lot of fighting and a lot of um, just nastiness and evil happening. Um, and he was the only one, he and his family were the only ones that were obeying God's word and obeying God's laws. And God looked down on the earth and he was just so sad. He was just so sad that all of this was happening, that his creation, um, all of the people that he had created were being so awful. And so he said, I, 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 I just, I'm sorry that I even created them. I'm, the only solution that I can, can think of is to just get rid of them. I'm going to destroy everything that I have created. But he decided that he was going to save this family. So this family was Noah's family. Um, and like I said, Noah lived in a time that was very awful and very wicked. But because Noah had um, always obeyed God's laws and always obeyed what God said, um, God looked highly on him. Looked down highly on him. And so God told Noah that he wanted him to build a boat, a big ark. Now, at the time, this is kind of, this was a, a, a tall request. I mean, God told Noah exactly how long to make it, how wide to make it, all of the specifications, what kind of wood to make it out of, what to seal it with. And he, God told Noah that it was going to rain and that he was going to flood the earth. Now, up until this time, the people on the earth didn't know what rain was. They were like, rain? What's rain? It had never rained. God had, had watered the earth other ways. So it, they didn't understand this concept. And they, I'm sure, laughed. They probably laughed their heads off at Noah when he builds this boat in his backyard. They probably looked at him and said, you're nuts. You're crazy. What are you doing? And Noah would say, you know, I'm doing what God wants me to do. I'm building this ark. I don't understand it. Don't understand it. Don't understand what's going to happen. God says he's going to flood the earth, but I don't know how. I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand it. But God told me to do this, and so I better obey. Life's like that sometimes. Sometimes we have to... We, we do things because God knows, God. we know that God wants us to do certain things. And sometimes people laugh at us, and some pe sometimes people will say things to us. But that doesn't mean that we shouldn't obey. In fact, we should obey even more because that's, God will reward us for obeying, for obedience. Um, and, and he rewards Noah. But it's hard sometimes. It's hard to obey when we don't understand. We want to know what's going on. So this week at release time, we played a game um, with the kids. We played a game called Jesus Says. It's kind of like Simon Says. And so if you're at home with your family, maybe you can play that kind of a game too. And you can kind of play a game of Simon Says. And, you know, you don't know what's coming and you might be expected to look silly and act goofy. But that's the game, right? That's how we do it. And um, if you don't, then you get kicked out of the game. You, you lose, and you lose your turn. And we want to obey God no matter what. No matter what he says, no matter um, what he asks of us, we want to obey God. So I want that's my challenge to you guys this week. Um, I just hope and pray that you hear what God has to say to you this week that you listen, that you hear him, and that when he says to you, you need to do this, 
that you actually do it, that you realize it's okay. Even if I stand out a little bit, that's okay. So I hope you have a great week. Um, I will see you soon.